Okay, I'm back again. Instead of me pausing, y'all, I actually accidentally ended the video. <laughs> so now I gotta... I don't normally edit or anything. I mean, once in a blue moon, but now I gotta put the two together, hopefully. If not, then I guess I'll have two different videos in the same day. <laughs> And if that, and when somebody watches that other one and it ends the way it does, they're going to say, what? <laughs> but anyway, if you do, that's what happened. <laughs> I forget, it's been so long since I recorded, I forgot which button it was. But anyhow, uh, like I was saying a while ago, uh, I, I absolutely had a fun time making that pattern. And I will have links down below where you can go check it out. It is, it's very addicting. And yeah, I really enjoyed it very much. And I've got another one I'm got another colorway in that same uh stuff it's uh let's see if they got a picture no it's orange i believe it's just called orange maybe but it's got like different shades in there and i thought that'd be a pretty one too okay now my next one i'm going to show you oh boy <laughs> it is so cute oh my gosh um me being that i always change my mind about a lot of things <laughs> uh like decorating and things like that which i don't decorate a lot um you've seen some of my stuff in my house and in my craft room i uh last year i painted one of my walls in there because i wanted to fix it to where it was like um i could just set it up different you know with my crochet and stuff like that well i've been really really wanting to do something in like an ice cream theme and because there for a while i was craving ice cream big time <laughs> and being that i was craving ice cream I technically, I haven't eaten it in a long time. Well, I hadn't eaten it in a long time. And then I finally broke down the other day and I bought me some at uh, Walmart and I had some and then it threw me for a loop. So I'm not able to eat it right now. But anyhow, uh, so, but before all of that, I thought, you know, I, for some reason, I'm really wanting to make some ice cream things. And so I got up there on one of my favorite designers, which is Olive of Stringy Ding Ding, because she's all, she's got the cutest patterns. Oh, you see my chickens back there running around. Those are my babies. Now, um, I know I had commented about doing videos on them when they were younger, whenever I'd get them in and all that, and I failed on that big time, and I apologize on that, guys. My other channel's still up, and I never put any other videos up there because I guess I was concerned about people <laughs> watching this one and not liking all the noise and all that, but then I got to thinking, well, there's going to be, <laughs> there's still going to be noise on this whenever I'm doing this stuff and not pertaining to anything with them, so... It's probably just easier to just talk about it on here. But I still got the other channel up in case I decide to go ahead. But anyhow. But anyway, that's my babies back there. And you're probably going to see my dogs. And there's also, we have like three fawns now. There's one that had twins and there's another one that runs around. And, uh, and also, I can't wait to tell you what showed up in our backyard. Oh my goodness, about two months ago. But I'm going to wait till I finish this one thing to tell you about it. <laughs> but anyhow. What was I talking about? Oh, ice cream. <laughs> I've been wanting to do an ice cream theme. And so, as I was saying, all of the stringy ding ding, I absolutely love her pattern. She's one of my favorite designers. And I knew she had, seemed like she had some uh, ice cream cones. And I went and looked. But I wanted to make, not the waffle cone, I wanted to make like the cone part. Like, you know, whenever I was growing up, I remember going to the Dairy Queen and with my grandma. And we'd always get these ice cream cones and back then they were probably like a quarter maybe and uh i just for some reason i wanted to make an ice cream cone with that kind of a cone not the waffle the you know the cone and so um she didn't have one like that if, if i i'm pretty sure i didn't see one but i thought well i'm gonna make one of them anyway but what was so funny is the next day it was which is a day she normally comes out with a pattern either on sunday or monday that Monday, whenever I was looking, I was kept checking my emails because I was signed up to her emails. And I thought, I wonder what kind of a cute pattern she came out with this time. And lo and behold, she came out with an ice cream cone. <laughs> it was like she was reading my mind. So all of if you were watching right now, you were reading my mind, weren't you? <laughs> and so as soon as I seen it, I was so excited. I ran in the house. I really did. I ran into the house. I grabbed some yarn and I came back out on the porch. And I started working on it. And it is absolutely cute. 
and I can't wait to show you guys. Now, I actually have, there's a wasp flying around. I actually have two more in there done up, but not sewed together yet. <laughs> That's how bad I am right now about getting things going and then seeing something and then not finishing it. But look at this, guys. Look how cute that is. I absolutely love this. Oh, my gosh. So, as I was saying, I'm wanting to do that one wall in like an ice cream theme. And so, this is the first thing that I've gotten done to do that with. And like I said, that this pattern was so easy. And all her patterns are easy. She's always got the... The prettiest pictures and easy you know easy instructions and and if there's something that's not right or anything email her because she'll email you right back and she'll let you know or comment down below in her uh, where the blog is because you can get the uh, you can go up on her blog and get them for free or you can also pay for the PDF download and they're not very much but I couldn't wait to get started so I ran in here and I got my hook and I got my yarn, and I got to working on it. And I actually had it all done the next day, because that's how persistent I wanted to be with it. But, of course, I had interruptions all day, because living on the farm here, you get interruptions all the time. And uh, But anyway, I ended up using a 3.5 millimeter hook. I think she used a 4. I always use a 3.5, because my uh, stitches are a little loose. And uh, But I used... Um, let me see. I got it in here. Oh, and I don't need to forget. I got it sitting right here. I need to show y'all something. It's some Happy Mail. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. It's sitting right here in front of my face. I've looked at it three times, and I completely forgot about it. But I'll show you here in a minute. Um, for the color of the cone, and that was the kind of cone I was looking for, <laughs> I used this line brand. Let me... I don't want to get it dirty. My picnic table is kind of dirty right now. I used this line brand. Our Walmart came out with this, which I was shocked. And it's almond brand, or almond, oh my goodness, almond colorway. And um, I really love working with this. It's soft. And um, that was the first time I've ever used it. And it's all the different skin tones that you can get. I guess you say skein, yeah, skein tones. And uh, this one is called Almond. And this is actually the one that I used on that doll that I need to finish for my granddaughter. And so I use that for the ice cream cone part. And then for this one here is a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And it is in a colorway. Drizzle me this. Now I got this at, like I said, Hobby Lobby last year. And I was going to make... I think a cat or something with it, and I ever got around to it. But I, when I seen this pattern, I knew right off the bat this would be perfect for a cone. So, the ice cream. And then on the top, I used Mainstay Pink. And this is pretty sure Mainstay Yellow. And this is some more of that line brand. And this one's called... Um, Somewhere in my basket here, I got it. It is called mahogany, this color here. And then the red, the little cherry, is um, mainstay <laughs> and mainstay white. And then the safety eyes, I think she, I think she said a 12, and I don't even know what size this is because I actually the container that all my safety eyes. I dropped it one day on the floor, and I just threw them all back together, so I don't know what size it is. So it's probably like a nine. And then I used embroidery thread to do the little smile, but isn't it the sweetest? And then in the bottom, you put cardboard, and then your stuff, and, and then there's cardboard. And I will tell you, I am a hot glue queen when it comes to some things like this. I will hot glue it, and that's what I did, because she even says it in her pattern. I hot glued it down in there. And I did sew the hair, or the hair. <laughs> it does look kind of like hair on the back. Um, that stuff on, the frosting or whatever you call it, the cream. I sewed that on, and then I sewed the, no, I did sew the top one on, because you don't have to have a bottom for it. And then I sewed that one on, and then I hot glued. 
I hot glued everything else on. But I just think it's so cute and all of I am so if you're watching this, I'm so excited you came out with this. But let me tell you guys, she's got other cute ice cream ones too. There is a banana split. I want to make so bad. I think Ella made that one if I remember right. And there is a uh, fro uh, root beer float. And I think it's part of a food series, fast food series. And then she's got the ice cream cones. And then she's got an ice cream sandwich. Yeah, I want to make that one. But yeah, I've, I've been wanting ice cream so bad. And I did finally break down and get some. But like I said, I can't. I can't handle it right now. <laughs> but anyway, I just think it's so cute. I can't wait to put it in there in my craft room. Okay. And like I said, I've got more started. I actually made, I got a couple more started using that, this yarn here, which it worked up smaller. Now I, I like using that yarn for this, for um, making stuff like this, but using it to make the amigurumi was, it kept snagging for some reason. I don't know if it was my hook. I, I use a clover hook, so I don't know why it kept snagging. Maybe it was just me because I was excited and I wanted to get it going. <laughs> but anyway, I'll put links down below where you can go check it out so 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 cute and it works up so fast really okay now the next thing i'm wanting to show you is a finished object but it's also going to be a continual whip until i get it all done <laughs> and i'm also debating on what i want to do now i had a hard time finding one that i really wanted to do without doing a lot of sewing on i guess i don't mind sewing appliques on at all but I, I seen this one and I thought, man, that, that looks like it'd be simple. But to be all honest, I struggled with it uh, because you really have to pay attention and you, you really need, you have to go back and forth between her blog to read the pattern and then watch the video on how she does it. Now with me, I guess maybe I wasn't paying attention as much, but I'm used to the ones that give you the stitch count. And, and I'll, I'll be honest, I should go back to the blog and read in the very beginning if she said if the chain three counts as a um, double crochet or not. I, I need to go back and look. So that part, I don't know. But it, if she did, I didn't see it. And I just did it different. But anyway, <laughs> it is such a cute pattern. And I wanted to make it so bad because this is what I'm wanting to do too. I'm actually wanting to make an ice cream throw to put on the back of that chair that ugly chair <laughs> that's in my craft room it's an office chair that's absolutely falling apart it's got the stuff is coming off of it and i need to replace it and but i just keep putting throws over the back of it one of these days i'll get me a rocking chair i just right now i can't afford it right now because i got too many other things but anyhow um but I wanted to make me an ice cream throw and so I got up there and I looked and I looked and there are a lot of cute uh, appliques and stuff like that but I found one that I thought that's the one I want to do because you hardly sew any ends in now this is a pattern by how do you say her name Surella I believe is how you say it she came out with it seven years ago and um, so I was super excited whenever I seen it and I think at that time she was making it for I think she was pregnant. She was making it for her baby. And, um, but anyway, here it is. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Oh, I was so excited whenever I seen it. But I, like I said, I struggled because what you do is you make this cone first. And then you make this second. Okay, then you sew. She doesn't tell you where to sew it on at. But you sew it on to the cone, which I struggled with that because I thought, well, how far down do you go and all that? Because there's a reason why I needed to know because where you add this onto this. But I managed, and so I sewed these two together, and then I, um, yes, I sewed it on like this. Now, she just did all kinds of sewing on the back because she was going to go back and put a backing on it with fleece or something but i don't know if i'm going to would do that so i thought well i'll be more cautious about how i sew it on so i think it looked okay it kind of gives it definition for the back so this is the back well then you do these two 
and she even says you can hot glue it together but I didn't want to hot glue and then once you get those two together you're going to come back and then you're going to join the white at a corner of top of one of the ice cream the ice cream part but that's where I struggle because she didn't tell you exactly where to join it at you, she just says pick a corner on the side but then she will tell you that you need to take the first it's a granny stitch and line it up with the center here and that's what I did after about three times of course I did this last night I made made this last night and I was tired but I wanted to get it done so I could show you guys and then she says you need to skip three stitches which she also said that if the, if you're skip if you're having to skip more than three that's okay basically you fudge it you know and I'm all about that I fudge all the time and so I um I struggled with it a little bit but once I think I do it a couple of times I think I'll get the hang of it but it, to me it's not really a beginner friendly and one that's just my opinion <laughs> But anyway, but she's got some cute patterns up there. I'm wanting to go and make but anyway you crochet this on and You just have to watch the video and how she does it because she'll show you She's got the camera up above facing down showing you how she does it, but you'll have to go back and forth You know to the blog and then go back to see how she does it But I managed because you go back and you do the granny stitch here in the back loop of one of these so it turned out really good because you don't have a bunch of ends to sew in you know, like you normally do with the grannies, you know, when you add, add an applique. And so, then you go and you do the cherry, and then you sew it on, or you could hot glue it. But I sewed mine on last night. But I think it turned out so, so cute. Now, what I'm thinking about doing, being that it was so fun to make, I'm, it just depends on how I feel. Um, I'm wanting, oh my goodness, I got kitty hair all over it too. <laughs> Imagine that. I'm wanting to uh, get up here next month, and I'm going to try to make a video every day. If not every day, maybe every other day. And what I'm wanting to do is kind of like what me and Ashley usually do around Christmas time with the um, family blanket thing, the surprise, you know, where hubby goes in, picks a color, and it's a surprise to us, and I reveal it to y'all, you know. I don't know, and y'all don't know until I reveal it. I thought it'd be kind of fun to do that with this. So, but it's going to be challenging because I've got to learn to, I'm not really a control freak when it comes to uh, <laughs> colors and stuff because I'm all about scrappy. But I also know that whenever it comes to, if I do a solid color like this on the background, I want my next one to be maybe a variegated one maybe or a different color. But the reason why I'm saying that is because what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to throw two colors into the bag, have him do it, and then it can either be a variegated one and a solid one. Yeah. Or two solids. I don't know what he's going to do. And then he could actually pull a quick one on me and do... Uh, but I am going to tell him. I am going to ask him, please don't do two variegated, one for the cone and one for... One for, I mean, for the ice cream, and one for the background. Let's 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 try to do the either variegated on the this part or solid or vice versa, because I think that would really. I have OCD, is what I'm trying to say, <laughs> and so I, I'm trying to get out of that. I'm really getting better about it, but I'm going to try to what I'm what I'm wanting to do is put two, have him put two different colors in the bag, and whatever color I pull out first is going to be the color of the ice cream. And whatever color is going to be the second one is what I'm going to have to use for the background. So I'm anxious to see about it. But I'm thinking about doing that and like we normally do around Christmas time with the blankets. I think it's around Christmas time. I can't even remember. But anyway, I think that would be so fun. But y'all tell me what you think. If you think that would be something you'd like for me to do, you know, start next month and try to do one every day and do it like that. <laughs> and just maybe just do... Um, just the ice cream cones now she does this ice cream cone is part of a baking series I think bake shop series is what it's called and she's got the cutest ones there's like a cake and a cupcake and a coffee and what else was there there was all kinds of stuff on there and that would be a cute one to make too but I think I'm going to stick with ice cream right now but just do different colors but anyway that's what I kind of want to do next month 
what is I think next month is August, so that means what do they call it? Vlogmas, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but I thought about doing that. So y'all just let me know. Thought it'd be kind of fun. That's what I want to do. Now I'll put a link down below where you can go check this out if you're interested in making one. Like I said, it was super easy. And I looked it up, and this this is the only one I've seen where you can actually crochet the granny square onto it or make the granny square onto it like that. Now the other the only thing I did different, and I forgot to say this is at the very bottom of this square she don't say anything about patching it but i actually went in there and finagled it to where i could do a single crochet into the back loop of one of them where i could tack it down without it being floppy so i think it turned out really cute and i used a a five millimeter hook which i kind of wish i would have went down a half a size because I, I i do have a tendency to want to crochet very loose but anyway that's what I have there. And I'll put links down below where you can go check it out. Now, the colorway, I forgot to tell you, is one right here that I just got at Walmart the other day. And I think we've carried it before, but it, they quit for a long time. And it's this one right here. It's Red Heart Super Saver Bonbon. Bon. And I really liked it, and I just used it, started it last night. And I, I think it's very, very pretty. Bonbon bon print. Yeah, stripes. So I got me one of these. This was like $2.99. Same price as the, I keep wanting to say great value. <laughs> uh, mainstay, I can't remember the name. You probably see my kitty cat right there. He's finally, that's the, uh, the stray that won't let anybody else touch him. He'll let my hubby every once in a while, but he's my buddy. He finally, finally let me give him a... Um, I give all my pets, you know, rabies shots and stuff, and he finally let me give them. I was scared. He's never had, I mean, he's never let me pick him, you know, I mean, I picked him up, but I was always leery about it. And so I finally was able to give him a shot, and that, I was sweating. I was nervous. I thought, please don't bite me. Please don't bite me. He didn't even do nothing. It was me. <laughs> so anyway, he's a really sweet, sweet cat. His name is Sylvester, and I, something has startled my rooster, so I might have to pause you again. And the other color that I used was um, Mainstay Red, Mainstay White, and this is that. I think this is that, Red Heart Super Saver Buff. I know it's Red Heart Super Saver, but I think the colorway is Buff. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, he finally settled down a little bit. Hi, buddy. But anyhow... Um, I wanted to show you guys some yarn that I, I wanted to show you guys some yarn that I picked up, I need to put that down right there, um, that I picked up at Walmart the other day. Now, I'm either late to the game or I just haven't seen anybody talk about it, but I don't know. I, I just don't know. And, uh, but I ran across it at my Walmart and I was so excited, so I grabbed some of it. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you a lie, I was a little flustered because when I went to grab just a couple more of these, I was standing there talking to my hubby about it, right beside it, and this woman heard me talking about it, and she had another person that was with her told her, grab those other three real quick. Knowing that I was sitting there right there, just looking at it, had one in my hand, you know, like as if, you know, get it before she does, and I was, I didn't say nothing, but it dawned on me who it was and I thought I know that person and so anyway I ended up talking to her <laughs> come to find out she crochets and uh, but that was kind of frustrating for me because I thought man I'd love to have at least two of those so because I, I know what I wanted to use it for and I'm fixing to show you the one I want and it's for that ice cream blanket so right here it is now, I don't know if y'all have already showed this or what. I don't know. I've been out of the line a lot for a little bit. and uh, But anyway, I thought this was so pretty. And when I seen it, I got so, so, so excited. And this is what I want to go around the border of my blanket. I'll probably go around it with white and then go around it with this. But I thought that'd be pretty because it's got all the speckles in it. And I absolutely love it. And it is called Light Blue Speckle. And it's a Super Saver Jumbo Speckle. 
and medium weight four and it's got however many yards in it which i'm sure y'all already know 482 it's got a cute hat pattern on there but I just love it, and I've seen it, and I thought, wow, I've never seen that. So I was super excited about it. And it's got, like, green specks, yellow, blue, and not pinks, and it's just a beautiful color, and I love it. So, anyway, I got me one of these, but they also had this one. This was the first one i seen, and I grabbed one of them, and it's called White Speckle. Isn't that pretty? And then i seen this one which this one is so pretty i love that it looks like christmasy to me and this was the only one they had and it's called cherry speckle and i wish i could have got my hands on another one because i would love to, to put this one around a christmas blanket i just think it's so pretty but maybe they'll come out with some more and i can maybe get my hands on it but uh I'm one of those ones I won't get, I won't take it all. I always leave some. <laughs> and so anyway, that's the other one. And then there's one more because I actually had four of these and I, I only got one. And it's this one. Isn't that pretty? And it's called Soft Navy Speckle. So I don't know if this is something new. It, at least it's new at my Walmart because our Walmart don't come out with a whole lot of They've downsized so much. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. It's all down to one aisle now. It's like, next thing you know, they're not going to have anything. Except stuff in there I could care less about. <laughs> so, and then that'll be bad because then I'll have to go out of town to get what I need. Because I'm more of a, uh, I like to look in person, hands-on, instead of ordering. Because I've ordered things before and it's not exactly the color I want. Even though I'd like to give me some of that. Um, Joanne, that yarn you can get at Joanne. What's it called? Everybody gets it all the time. It's cheap stuff. Uh, I can't even think of what it's called now. I'd like to get some of it. <laughs> I think they just had some on sale. At one time they had it for like $1.50 a skein. And uh, I can't even think of it right now. Ashley usually gets a bunch of it. Anyway, I'd like to try some of that. And I still, I need to ask her if any of you guys know. Says on that one. You can't wash and dry it, I think, put it in the dryer, but I've never heard of that with any of them. I mean, you can this stuff, and you think you could. I can't even think of what it's called. Anyway, that's that one. And I thought it was so pretty. I love that. But that's what I have. I think that's it at the bottom of my basket. And like I said, I have got so many whips in there. I've got, a, I've got two Christmas blankets going. I'm making one for my daughter. It's the Christmas light one. I got one square started on it. I'm going to get that going for her. I'm still working on my Valentine ones for my friend. I got to get it done. I, I actually have a bear that I got to make for my other friend. And uh, what else is there? And I'm making a Christmas blanket for me. I can't wait to show you that one. And uh, what else was there? I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of things I'm wanting to make. A couple of wearables that... Um, Jennifer from Cinnamon and Stitches came out with. It's that crop top. Oh my gosh, I love that. I really want to make that. I've never really made wearables. I was working on a, what was that, a cardigan one time, and I frogged the whole thing. I got tired of it. But I am wanting to make that crop top. And Jada's got one that she came out with last year. It's called, it's, it looks boho. It's a swimsuit cover, I think. I don't wear no swimsuit, but I think it'd be cut cute over, you know, anything you know keep just anything and i've got the perfect yarn for it that my friend um got me um and oh my gosh my mind just went blank i think because i was trying to see what that was i'm <laughs> sorry you have to forgive me i've been doing that a lot lately i got a good reason for it <laughs> but anyway my friend ann sent me oh my gosh and i've got yarn for the one that that she sent me too for the other thing so i'm excited i want to get started with it one of them though is a worsted it's a size three and i hope it'll work the one that i'm wanting to use for um the one that jennifer made and the other one i want to use for the one that um jada because it's the uh the kind that glows when you after you get in the sun it's white but when you get in the sun it, i guess it does that um, 
like a tie-dye effect, I guess. <laughs> I haven't made anything with it, but that I want to make something with that. But anyway, now I want to show you my happy mail. Can't believe I usually show that in the very beginning, but I absolutely forgot it. Before I show you, I want to apologize to you, Summer. I've had this since Easter, and I am sincerely sorry for not getting up here and showing it, but I have not felt very good, and... Uh, and when I, what, what's what been going on with me, it don't just physically wear me out. It mentally uh, takes a toll on me. So, but anyhow, I appreciate it. And I'm so sorry it's taken so long, so, so long to show this. But guys, I absolutely love this. I'm going to try to do this without showing. Here's the back of the car. <laughs> and let me see if I can do this without, because it's got our addresses on the front. But she sent me the cutest Easter card. And what's inside of it, I absolutely love. Oh, whoa, Sylvester. Oh, boy, that was almost a catastrophe. <laughs> he's got claws. <laughs> you all right, buddy? Yeah, he's fine. He just got a little too comfy and rolled off the table. <laughs> but look at this. Let me show you the card. She wrote me a sweet note in there. And you don't need that, buddy. That's my coffee that I'm still drinking. You're wished all the love and blessings and hope that Easter time promises you. Hugs and blessings, Summer. Look at this. Is this not sweet? Oh, I love this card. Thank you, Summer. And on the inside, as always, she always puts the cutest stickers. There's these. And there are these. And one more, as you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm a cat fan. <laughs> So, so cute, but better than that. Look at this. Is this not the prettiest? I absolutely love this. This made me cry, of course. I love this, and so delicate. I absolutely love it. One of these days, I want to learn how to crochet with the thread. Jada actually just came out with something just the other day with doilies. I'd love to learn how to do that. And if there's ever a good teacher, she's the one and so i love this summer and i thank you so much now i'm gonna i'm gonna put it in my bible i've got my my neighbors are home i got the other one in my um, bible right now and um, so this one's gonna go in there too i absolutely love this it is so beautiful look at that guys isn't that beautiful thank you summer that was so sweet of you to do that okay now that's, I guess, all I have to say about the crochet stuff, except I got a lot I need to do. But anyway, I guess I'll talk about what's been going on with me, and this video is going to be super, super long. And if I run out of time, I guess I'll do another video to explain. <laughs> so, like I said, this might end up being two videos. I don't know. But anyhow, um, what has been going on with me? Before I tell you, I'm going to show you my cup. I got coffee. I'm still drinking, and it's probably 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and usually I'm done by now. But look at this cup. Yeah, now my neighbor's going to mow. <laughs> Hopefully you can still hear me. Life is better with chickens. Now, I'm going to say something. If this was my cup, and I would have had a, been able to have, uh, you know, handmade this, which back in the day my mom used to make cups with uh, ceramics and stuff like that. This would have said, life is better with Jesus and chickens. <laughs> yep, that's what I would have had it on there. But anyhow, I'm drinking, um, can you, uh, I got it at Walmart. It was actually on clearance. Uh, Starbucks, I don't normally buy that expensive stuff. I usually get the Roncomatic brand, the, uh, what do you call it? Great value, almost said mainstay. <laughs> And it's called, um, I usually get French vanilla. It's my all-time favorite. But this one was some kind of uh, coconut. Yeah. And they had it, whoa, that's loud. They had it for $3. Normally, $14 for this bag. There is no way I'm going to pay $14 for no coffee. But they had it for $3, and I grabbed it, and I grabbed some others. Well, I didn't know when I got home it's fixing to be outdated, and one of them is. But I don't go by that stuff, you know. I, I go by Hey, if it tastes good, it's okay. As long as it don't kill me, I'll be all right. But anyhow, I want to get on here and now and start telling you about what I've been doing. And if you can't hear me, I'll try to be loud. I apologize again outside. 
my what have I been doing well as I was mentioning before usually this time of year I do a lot of the yard work and stuff like that but this year I didn't I didn't get to work in my yard as much as what I wanted to um, I haven't been feeling very well and as a lot of you know it took them a good while for them to figure out what was going on with me with one of the things and it I have sleep apnea and I uh, finally got diagnosed with that three years after <laughs> going to the hospital four times thinking I was having a heart attack had to go have a heart catheterization thing done where they take a thing and they put it up your vein and go into your heart and they do that with you wide awake um, but let me tell you I wasn't scared because I prayed I asked them to pray with me and um, we prayed and I felt God's presence so I was at peace and it makes me want to cry though because I just I'm tired <laughs> I'm tired of feeling the way I do. Sorry, I don't mean to cry about it, but it, it has emotionally taken a toll on me. But um, I'm gonna get my composure here. Got through that. I didn't have anything wrong with my heart because they thought I had blockage because I did a scat, um, stress test and all that stuff. And it's something to do with something I was born with, a myocardial bridge thing. And I don't know anything about that, but anyway, um, he told me right off the bat I had sleep apnea before I even had my sleep study done. And I love that guy. He was the best cardiologist for me. I absolutely love him. He's the only one I ever went to. <laughs> but he moved to Texas. So if you live in Texas and you need to see a heart specialist, look me up because uh, email me because I think he moved to Waco. And I'm gonna tell you right now, when that man left, when I saw him the last day, I told him, I said, I absolutely love you and I think you are one of the best doctors I've ever had. And I wish he was my normal position, but you know, he's not. <laughs> but anyway, if I could afford it and if I was rich, let me tell you what, I'd go to the airport and I'd go down there on a jet and see that guy, let him be my heart specialist. <laughs> but anyhow, I ended up getting uh, sleep apnea. I do have sleep apnea. And finally they got my machine. It took them a good while because during all that, the sea that was going on, you know. And then they recalled one of the, the CPAPs that I needed. And when I went back to see him, he got very upset with them. And that day I got home with the CPAP machine. And so I ended up using it. It takes a while to get used to it and for it to start working. And I'm finally used to it now. But I'm still having issues. and. Uh, Nobody would really listen to me about it. He even said that it was part of my sleep apnea. And I agree, it was. It was. But I can I know my body better than anybody else. And I know it's not really the sleep apnea all the way. Because I've got my sleep apnea pretty much in control. And, I mean, I, I use my CPAP. I have, like, 0 0.1 episode an hour. Now, sometimes I'll have maybe one, but that's very rare. But normally it's, I've only had two times where I didn't have any episodes during the night. But I still, I wake up every, I wake up three times during the night, sometimes four, to go to the bathroom. And, and this is me not having hardly, you know, any episodes. And so, but he was saying, you know, because I was feeling, I'm feeling weak in my legs. And, you know, I have days where just to walk from back there to up here it's a struggle and I have to walk with a I don't have a cane but I have a, a walking stick that my neighbor made me and it's so cute it's made out of cedar and she varnished it and everything and I use that but I struggle and I've been struggling like that for a couple of years and of course he always said it's sleep apnea but I, I thought no it's something else I know it is and I'd mention it to my doctor the one I'm not going to now and <laughs> she tried to say it was something else and I pray that it's not that because she just commented about it and that was as far as it went and I thought no it's something else and I don't want to go and make this a very long thing because I could go into more detail because I don't have her anymore I, I'm not going to uh, is, is, Lord is my witness and uh, if I can totally help it, I do not want to go back to her because I've actually got somebody else now to go to, which is a nurse practitioner. 
and uh, absolutely so far and I hope <laughs> things never go different I absolutely love her but because she listens to you and when I say listen she will sit there and she will hear everything you say and let's do what you want to do let's let's do this not well we're going to we're going to do what I want to do so anyhow um my hubby's probably wonder why I'm crying <laughs> anyhow um I um I know there's something going on so I had this other one that I'm not going to use anymore it runs some tests on me my idea and of course the nurse <laughs> I don't even want to go down that road with about her tried to tell me a vitamin deficiency wouldn't cause it because I thought maybe I have a vitamin deficiency of course my doctor said you know you're getting older you know your circulation you know blah 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 okay uh, I understand that I am getting older I'm, I'll be 60 in a few years and uh, but I know my body better than you do there's something going on here and I'm having this tingling and this burning sensation in the bottom parts of my leg and in my feet and uh, I'm extremely, I get woozy, I get dizzy. There's just something going on. And uh, I thought maybe something to do with sugar. And I don't know. So anyhow, the nurse tried to say, oh, vitamin deficiency won't cause any of the stuff that I was asking her. And I, yeah, it does. And she tried, you know, I had my cholesterol checked, which I didn't want it checked, but she went ahead and checked it anyway. And I hadn't even got to fast. I didn't even know she was checking it. And it really, really, really aggravated me because when you go for a year and you go with the insurance that I have, it's like a free thing. And she checked my cholesterol. So now if I wanted to go, say at the end of this year, which I normally do, get it checked, now I gotta pay for it. So she did that to me, pulled that little stunt, didn't know. You know, my cholesterol was up and I'm not worried about it because my good cholesterol is really up and my triglycerides are like 39 they were low and so I'm not worried about my total fat <laughs> not at all and but I'm not worried about that but they were more concerned about that instead of trying to find out what was wrong with me and tried to tell me that I wanted tried to ask me or tell me that I needed to go back on my cholesterol medication well I was never on a cholesterol medication. I went there because I wanted to stop my blood pressure medication because I'm healthier now to a degree on a certain point. And um, so she said, yeah, sure, let's try it. And, and it worked out and um, I wanted to stop it. Well, whenever she called to tell me the cholesterol results, she's like, how about you get back on your cholesterol medication? I said, I've never been on cholesterol medication. Well, it says right here, you've been on cholesterol medication. No, ma'am, I have not. And this is the nurse. I said, no. She said, well, it says you were doing it and you were real good. And I said, Look, okay, I'll tell you what. I'm not one to argue with somebody, but I finally got tired of her arguing with me. And this was a nurse that had already told me no on several things that I knew she was wrong because I'd already talked to two other people that were nurses. And I finally said, I'm going to tell you what's wrong, what happened. I said, when I come in there to see you guys, you wrote down the wrong thing. Because when the doctor came in, she asked me, oh, so you want to stop your cholesterol medication? And I said, um, I've never been on cholesterol medication. I want to stop my blood pressure medication. And she was like, oh, okay. Well, she wrote down the wrong thing. They never took it off my record. So when I told her that, she got real quiet. I probably ruffled her feathers, but at that point, I really didn't care because in my opinion, and this is just my opinion alone, she needs to go back to nursing school or something because she, some of the things that she said, it just, it really opened my eyes and I thought, I am not going back there. She, it, yeah, I made up my mind real quick and I have not been back and I was actually very afraid to go back after that. And so anyway, I ended up finding somebody else which I've been dragging my feet about it because I knew there was an office in town and she's actually she's a nurse practitioner she's been doing it for over 20 years and I think she's got the highest degree you can get to be a nurse practitioner and so um, she can refer me to like a specialist and write the prescriptions and I guess I, I'm just guessing this because she, I asked her if she could refer me to a specialist if I have to go, and she said yes. 
because I've seen online where some of them can't do that, I guess. I don't know. I'm, like I said, I don't know. This is all new to me. And uh, she's also, and I cannot say this word, so if I'm not saying it right, sorry. <laughs> um, she's one that deals with herbs and stuff. One of the, you know, she does that too. So I finally broke down because I ended up having a panic attack. I had to go before I got rid of the other doctor, I had to go back to her because I had a panic attack. My blood pressure was sky high. I never had it that high before except one time. She prescribed some blood pressure medication for me. I didn't want to take it, but then when I went to see, I ended up taking it for a whole week. And finally I said, I'm done. I can't do this. It was my nerves. I know it was me worrying and all that. So I stopped. And then I started going to the nurse practitioner. And let me tell you, she helped me tremendously mentally the first day by listening to everything I said what I had to say basically held my hand and uh, yeah so I don't want anything to go wrong to where I change my mind about her <laughs> but uh, it's hard to find somebody that really wants to listen to you and help you the way you really want to be helped this one does by golly and I am very happy about it so, with all that to say, and I'm sorry this has been so long, and I don't mean to ramble so much about it, but it's been a while, but, um, she ran some tests on me, and, um, I, uh, can't remember the first one she ran on me, I'm trying to remember, I, I can't remember, but anyway, um, I ended up going back because I was having these issues, and I told her about it, so, she ran some blood work on me. I can't remember what they all were, but I know one of them is they're checking me for um, Lyme disease because, and I'm sorry that sun is right on my face, checking me for Lyme disease because about five, six years ago, I got bit by a tick and it left a, um, it bit me and I didn't realize it until I guess how I didn't see it for a couple of days. And when I seen it, it had a ring around it and when I went to pull it off, it like left a hole and it hurt and I was mindful and I took a picture of it and then about three, going on three weeks later, I, I got sick as a dog. I'm telling you, I was dying. I really was. And my hubby finally came home. He came home from work and my blood pressure was dangerously low and I hadn't been eating and I had a fever and they, he rushed me to the hospital and they put me in there and they said they did some tests and and it's been six years, guys, so I can't really remember word for word, but I remember them saying it was a tick-borne illness. And there was somebody else in the hospital at the time that had a tick-borne illness. And so they gave me some antibiotics, if I remember right. And that was as far as it went. Whatever kind it was, I have no idea. I think they said they had to do some other kind of test to send it off or something to find out. I don't know. And it's, if it got done, if my doctor ever did it, I don't know. I, never, I just blew it off. But she's doing one of them. And the other one that's got me worried and concerned, and I don't want to say worried and concerned because I know God's got this. Hold on a minute. Okay, hopefully I got my composure. <laughs> but they are checking me for MS, multiple sclerosis, I believe that's how you say it. Because some of the symptoms that I have is showing things like that and I guess they can kind of confuse that with Lyme disease from what I understand so I'm praying to God that that's not what it is I'd rather take Lyme disease I'm I'm going to say that over you know that I don't want anything but if it comes I haven't got my test results it's been it'll be going on two weeks this next week which hopefully I'll hear something Monday from what I understand it takes a while on some of it and then I had an MRI done last, this last uh, Wednesday, I believe. And uh, it was not fun. That took a while. It made me feel weird afterwards. I had headaches and all of that. And um, so I haven't heard from that either. It might be she's waiting on the results for both of them. So, but, uh, and if that comes back negative, then the next thing she's gonna do is send me to a neurologist and to see what's going on with me because there's something going on i can't figure it out it, what's weird about this is here lately it happens on cue every day at five o'clock in the evening every day it's like i can't walk 
hard, I mean, without feeling like I'm like loopy. Um, I've went in and I've checked my sugar to see if something's going on. Now, mind you, I don't eat a lot of carbs. And that's one of the things I was talking about the ice cream is because when I eat the ice cream, it really threw me for a loop. But I don't know. I asked her to check my, uh, I already, I, ch I check my blood sugar at home, but I know I need to have my, what do they call it, insulin check maybe to see what it averages out for the three months, I guess. I guess that's how they do it. But I don't know. So I, um, we'll see. Um, so the worst thing is go to a, a well, I guess go to a neurologist and, you know, I don't want to, but I don't, I'm tired of, I'm tired of not knowing what's wrong with me. I'm tired of this physically taking me a toll on me. Um, uh, it's caused me to be, I don't want to, to be, when I feel like that, I kind of forget things and it's very, it's scary at times. It's frustrating. It's it's uh i'm tired of feeling that way and i just don't understand the burning and the tingling in my legs it's my calves down and my feet sometimes i feel like my feet are wet when they're not and i don't know you know i've had even a low grade fever a couple of times my temp runs low anyway like 96 point something and when i went to go see her the very first time i had a hundred degree a hundred temp and i was shocked I was like, and I wasn't even sick or nothing. I said, really? She goes, yeah, you got a fever. And I thought, okay. And when I got home, you know, I just took it easy. But I, uh, I'm hoping and praying that we can find out what's going on so I can get my, I, I've got right now, I feel okay because I'm just sitting here and, you know, I'm happy because I'm chatting with you guys and visiting with y'all. And, and the one good thing out of all this so far is I've been doing good with my blood pressure. Um, like I said, I've been on blood pressure medication for over 30 years. And I finally said, you know what? I was told by somebody one time, a doctor, I'll be on it the rest of my life. And I thought, how do you know? You've never given me a chance. And so I believed her and I listened to her and I went on like that for years. And finally one day I asked the other doctor and she said, yeah, sure, just stop. Which I don't suggest that with anybody before you talk to somebody that really knows what they're doing because that's not a good thing. I found that out. It's not good just to cold turkey it now. It's not healthy. It's, there are some medications you cannot cold turkey like that. But I was on such a very low dosage in the first, it's like she said, it was like pixie dust, that it didn't really affect me that much. And so unless I am upset or anything like that, I'm, you know, it goes up of course, or if I drink coffee, um, it probably goes up a little bit, but um, I'm actually taking something that helps with it, which my, the one I'm seeing now is the one that turned me to it. It's a natural, it's a, um, what's it called? Magnesium torate, I believe. And I've been taking it twice a day and it works for me. And it could be because it helps with your moods, your anxiety and all that stuff. So I, that's a lot of my problems too, is I have a lot of anxiety, you know, because of what's going on with me. I got told one time by a doctor because of all the things that was going on with me. Now, this is before they diagnosed me with sleep apnea, mind you. They told me I had attention deficit disorder. They told me I was depressed and that the symptoms I was having would not cause sleep apnea because I asked them this before I got my results back because my cardiologist sent me to a sleep study. And then when I talked to my normal doctor, she said that wouldn't cause any of that stuff. And I finally, I got so upset when she told me this, I said, well, let me tell you something. Yeah, I'm depressed because you guys can't figure out what's going on with me. So that's enough to make anybody depressed. But as far as attention deficit disorder, I don't think so. And, um, and the symptoms that I've been telling you does say it is sleep apnea because according to my cardiologist, that's what he's saying. And lo and behold, it ended up being that way. So. I fired her a long time ago, and uh, that was frustrating. So I'm hoping and praying that the good Lord has led me to somebody that I absolutely hope is the one that's true for me, because like I said, I kept driving by the business. She's in her own building, got her own place, and all that. Her own nurse, all that. And I love it. 
and uh, makes you feel like you're in your home, actually. And so anyway, I would absolutely appreciate if you guys could pray for me. Um, I would absolutely appreciate it because I could definitely use them right now. And like I said, I'm going to try to get up here and do more videos. I just haven't felt like it. My energy has been just whacked out. <laughs> And like I said, I just now, I had enough energy yesterday. I, I actually felt good to mow my yard. And um, I got that done. And that's my exercise, so. But um, I think that's all I wanted to tell you. And I apologize for this long video. It's going to be over an hour, but and that's not like me. I normally don't have videos this long. And I hope I don't have to put this up in two different, two different things. And, uh, and if I do, I do, I guess. But anyway, um just want to let you know that's that's the thing with what's going on with me and um, hopefully like I said they'll get the answers that I'm needing because I really am just I'm trying to be patient let me tell you uh, dr. Google really stressed me out <laughs> she told me this one I'm going to she said stay away from dr. Google it's got some good information, she said, but there's stuff up there that will absolutely have you going to the funeral home. <laughs> oh, like I said, I love this woman. She is really, she's, yeah, I like her. She's just spot on. Just like I said, we I felt like I'd known her for years, guys, just years. And I absolutely, I love that. She didn't, I wasn't, the first time I went, I was in there for over an hour. I got to ask her everything. When I went to the other one, 15 minutes. You had 15 minutes, basically, to get it done because you could tell she was in a hurry. And I told her at one time, I said, I'm sorry to take up your time like this. I know you're in a hurry. She never said, no, no, it's okay. You know, you know you'd expect someone to say, no, this is what I'm here for, and blah, 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 blah. And I understand that, you know, that's just the way they roll. But, uh, yeah, I don't go to those ones anymore. Sorry, but sorry but not sorry <laughs> but anyhow i guess i'm gonna hop off here i am so sorry for this long chatty ridiculously however you say it long video but i've missed you guys and i want to say again summer thank you so 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 much for that beautiful beautiful bookmarker and i see my hubby he is in the shop right now sitting on one of the feed containers and he's falling asleep and i'm afraid he's gonna fall over so I better go before he does. He's sitting on, he's falling asleep out there waiting on me. Bless his heart. I have a wonderful husband. <laughs> but anyway, I'll have the links all down below. And like I said, y'all let me know if you'd like to see me do that next month. Hold on a second. Okay, I had to yell at him to wake him up because he was doing weeble wobble and I didn't want to see him hit the concrete. <laughs> he just got off work and he's tired. Because where he works, he comes out into the heat like he does it absolutely throws him for a loop it does a lot of them and it's some of them have fell asleep coming home he's actually fell asleep driving home he said he's woke up in the middle of the highway just going like five miles an hour and it scares me to death that's why i always have him call me when he gets off work call me that way if i know you're not home at a certain time i will come looking for you <laughs> and it's not that far from the house i'm we're blessed on that he don't have to work very far from the house i mean it's like a not far and uh but anyhow yeah i'm truly blessed here i really really am and i am blessed to have all you guys as my friends and to sit here and listen to this lady who uh rambles on the way i do to everything i have to say um i really do i appreciate each and every one of you guys and um yeah so anyway I'm going to let you go, and all the links will be down below, and I can't wait to get back up here and chat with you guys. So anyway, you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day, and I will be chatting with you guys real soon. <laughs>